Charlie, she sure runs smooth. Yeah, it's a little slow, ain't it? Well, what do you expect after all? Of... Why, you pilot head, we're still tied. Pull that rope off. This week we travel from Peoria, Illinois, to Havana, Illinois, Beardstown, Hardin, and finally Grafton, Illinois. In our last episode we were enjoying dinner, drinks, and free dockage at Coochie's on the Water. The following morning was Thursday, September 16th and we took off at 8.30 for the Peoria Lock. Our transit through the lock went smoothly, and we were soon on our way south toward Havana, Illinois. After 36 miles, we arrived at Quiver Island, where we anchored around behind the island, out of the channel. We all cooked our own dinners on our boats. In our case, hot dogs. On the way to Quiver Island, we picked up fellow looper Wine and Roses. Upon arriving at our anchorage, we were joined by Blue Barnacle, Sabbatical, and Nine Lives. In an early episode, I mentioned that Sharon had broken a tooth. Well, last night it was my turn. Hopefully I can find someone to fix it when we get to Grafton, Illinois, on the Mississippi. Otherwise, we'll both be getting dental work done when we get to Florida. On Friday, September 17th, we pulled anchor and left Quiver Island, headed to Beardstown, Illinois, about 27 miles away. Our stop in Beardstown is an unusual location, but one that has become infamous among loopers. It's not a marina, or a municipal wall, or even an anchorage. It's a commercial towboat company that allows loopers to tie up to a stationary barge for a minimal fee.
After getting situated, we rested a bit before walking to dinner with our friends Jeff and Deb from Silver Jubilee and Yvonne and Peter from Quite Nice. Saturday, September 18th, and we leave Logston Tow Service, heading to our next stop on the Illinois River. The first place we have in mind is Big Blue Island. But when we get there, the water's too shallow. The second possibility was McEvers Island, but water level was too low there as well. Two more possible anchorage spots were also unusable. So we ended up traveling over 60 miles to Hardin, Illinois, where we stopped for the night at Mel's River Dock Restaurant. It was a much longer day than we'd planned, but would effectively take a day off of our travel time on the Illinois River. On Sunday, September 19th, we had a short day, traveling only 20 miles from Hardin to Grafton Harbor Marina in Grafton, Illinois. Here we'll rest up, hopefully I can get my tooth fixed, and we'll tackle a few boat projects. From here, we head out on the mighty Mississippi.